What's going on, guys? After Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. What's poppin'? How y'all doing? What's good? What's good? What's good? All right. Wow. Out of nowhere this morning, man. We seen Yo Gotti post an infamous picture with Hov. Now, again, I'm from Memphis. I follow Yo Gotti and his team closely. I follow a few artists closely. Nothing is like home. So I follow Memphis artists closely. I know a lot about Memphis artists when I can, I'm on their social media just to keep up because Memphis is always going to be home to me, right? It's where I was born and raised, and that those artists mean a little more to me than the artists in Atlanta because I understand where a lot of these dudes come from. So it, it, it's a pleasure to see a lot of these dudes come up, especially somebody like Gotti who's all, who was already up before I even started anything, all right? So Gotti, he, he, takes another, he makes another power play. He posted this infamous picture with Hove, all right? For those who don't know, Yo Gotti has been um, around Jay-Z a lot. If y'all don't remember, I told the infamous story about how I was with Jay. I'm sorry, how I was with Gotti, and then Gotti was with Jay the next day. I did that vlog a couple days ago. Salute to everybody that watched that vlog. I got more stories on the way, by the way. My next story will surround Stephen A. Smith and Skiff Bayless when I used to work at ESPN, all right? Get ready for that one. With that being said... A lot of people like this came out of the blue. What is Gotti doing with Hove? Listen, guys, I want y'all to understand something. Gotti had been around Hove the last couple years. He anytime he had got a chance, he meet with Hove. Anytime he was on that, he did remember he did a lot of dates for Khaled on that formation tour for Beyonce. Jay was at every stop of the formation tour, so a lot of people don't understand this. DJ Khaled was the opening act. I'm pretty sure you went and seen Beyonce formation tour in some city. Most of you guys did. Well, Khaled is a DJ that has a connection with every artist in the game. So night to night, Khaled was bringing out um, different rappers, especially in the big cities like the Atlantas, the New Yorks, the Charlottes, the, of course, you know, the bigger cities, the bigger markets, the Texases, the Dallas. Every city, depending on who's available, they bringing some old new artists out. And when you go to somebody, someplace like Atlanta and New York, they're bringing out many artists, all right? Everybody came out for Khaled. But it's a great opening act for Beyonce's tour, so you understand why Jay's down for it. Because you get the biggest artist in the game to open up for the biggest pop star in the game, his wife. So it makes a lot of sense for Jay-Z. Anyways, that allowed Yo Gotti the luxury of being able to talk to Jay more and more. Well, I know personally Gotti has Jay in his top five, maybe maybe number one. I know he's always had a mutual respect for Jay. If you watch any of Gotti's interviews in the past, he's always talked highly of Jay. He's always talked about how he understands the boss moves Jay makes and how when he was coming up, that's the music that he was listening to, Okay. So, when you see news that it looks like Jay and Gotti have some sort of a, a Rock Nation deal, I know a lot of people are asking me, what is the deal in clothes? What is, what is Gotti going to be doing? Isn't he still epic? All right, I don't know exactly what this Rock Nation deal is, and I'm pretty sure it's going to come out sooner or later. If it doesn't come out in the next couple of days, I'm going to reach out to some of Gotti's people, try to see what this deal is about. All right, for those who don't understand... You could okay, DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled is still signed to Epic Records, LA Reed. And he's still signed to Rock Nation. Jay-Z manages him. My guess, I don't know this for a fact. Don't take my word for this and run for this. Run with this. My guess is Gotti has a similar deal. All right, Gotti is very loyal to Epic and LA Reed. I don't think he's leaving that situation anytime soon. So I wouldn't think it would be a label deal. I think he's good with the partnership. That he has with L.A. Reid and Epic Records. I think everything is good money over, over there. All right, I don't think he's leaving that, that situation anytime soon. So my guess, Yo Gotti has signed a DJ Khaled type deal. If you ever listen to DJ Khaled and his big splurge. It's about talking about what you know the different brands. He'll say like Apple Ciroc. It's this. It's Epic Records Rock Nation. You know what I'm saying? He always says that. So what does that mean? Probably mean Jay-Z is going to ma manage Yo Gotti. And I'm sorry, guys. I got to do this. I grew up I grew up in Raleigh. Uh, I was raised a lot, of, a lot of my life. I was raised with my auntie in Ridgecrest. I, I spent a lot of time in Ridgecrest. To see Yo Gotti. To see Yo Gotti. 
an artist from the streets. You can't deny that about him. You can go back to the videos. Back in sixth grade, I would, <laughs> to see an artist like that come all the way up and, and make it to a point where the biggest in the game, Jay-Z wants to sign you to some sort of a deal, it is absolutely motivation. And if you got any hatred in your heart, I get why you're mad. I get why you're mad. But as someone who aspires to be the best, me, when you see a come-up story like Gotti's, and it is a hell of a story, you know, he had been in a couple bad deals. The irony is when every artist is hot in their 20s in this game that we in, the irony that Gotti on the back end in his 30s is receiving the glamour that he de- he, he probably rightfully deserved for the music he was putting out in his 20s, all right? It's always great to see an artist get their just due, and especially when you can connect to that artist. And, and Gotti is somebody, I feel like the whole city of Memphis has seen this boy um, now, but man, grow and shine and become who he is today. That's all the details I have. Of course, y'all know I'll come back when I get further updates. But um, Gotti has announced on his Instagram account that he has a deal with Rock Nation, all right? What do you think about Gotti joining Jay-Z and the Rock Nation family? How about you comment those responses below? Strictly motivation for the streets. Strictly, strictly, strictly motivation. Thank you for the time, love, and support. Salute. By the way, hold on. While I'm talking about all this motivation, while I got you guys, I am not playing. I have a game-changing announcement coming soon. I am not joking with you. If you know the seriousness in my tone, I'm not joking with you. I am not playing. Stay tuned. Thank you for the time, love, and support. Salute. I'm out.